Howdy everyone, back at Renegade Blasters. Again, with something new that's not an M4 and a little bit different from the AKs. Yes, there's too many M4s in the market, don't you look at me like that. Don't worry about who I'm talking to, I'm talking to this guy behind the camera. Either way, here is the CZ805A1. So, this is a little bit different from the Czech Republic. I do love a few of their things, but this is probably one of the better gel blasters that's come from them. Again, not made in the Czech Republic. That's where the manufacturer, a lot of the actual one is. This is made in China. Just want to clear that up because some people think that some of these are actually made where it says on the blaster. Anyway, let's go with a few uh, full overview now. So we have a full nylon foldable stock. So the battery does go in there, but it is quite a solid stock. It's kind of skeletonized, but not really. You guys can see the cord there. Make sure you don't pinch your wires. But yeah, the battery goes in the back. All you have to do is pop that button and you're good to go. Uh, next, we have a couple of sling points on top with a long Picatinny rail on top. This is a standard 20 mil Picatinny rail, so you can put scopes, more scopes. I've seen some people put grips, like a foregrip. Yeah, like that, <laughs> to try to make it like an LMG. Uh, all lasers or anything like that. We also have a full nylon receiver with a nylon gearbox, so that is quite solid in there. A bit of a weird grip. You don't see grips like this, but it looks comfortable to hold, especially with those divots where your fingers and thumbs should go. Uh, then we have, you know, your standard trigger assembly. It is an ambidextrous fire select. One thing I want to show everybody that's really confusing, and I don't know why they did this. Uh, so here it says CZ USA Kansas, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, you know, that's always cool. And then we turn to the other side. We got made in Czech Republic. So it's a bit weird, but I do love the inscriptions on this side. It looks absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's got a charging handle there as well on the other side. Uh, it does not work as a primer, but it does have blowback though. Uh, and then we have, you know, your standard M4 release. It is longer, but it is also further away from your standard finger. So you will have to reach forward a little bit. Then we have your 20 mil Picatinny on the bottom. Uh, looks like a couple of M locks on the side. And then we have this nice long extended barrels that are really helping those long range fights. Anyway, let's go to the fire demo. Show me how you open the magazine. Standard M4 magazine. Oh, yep. Uh, let's see how he goes. Doesn't want to break a nail. Doesn't seem like it. There we go. So that's why you fill up the gels. Nice and filled up. And as simple as it is, you have to put it in. Uh, so first of all, here's the weird thing about this blaster. Show him safety first. Yeah, so safety is in this position. So it goes full auto then single, kind of like an AK. So we'll start off in full auto. Or single file, whichever one you want. Cheese one. There we go. There's full auto there. I think he might have got a bit confused himself, even though I just told him how the safety works. Uh, there's full auto. Try single file now. There we go. Single file. And as you can see, it has that slight blowback. That just adds that a nice touch. I mean, it's not that much recall. Uh, now go to the full auto again. Let's just end this with a nice full auto spray. Very nice, re very nice recoil control. I wouldn't have them on my Valorant squad or any CS:GO team. But yeah, as you can see, the safety goes past full auto, kind of like an AK, but it's got that M4 style uh, safety. Anyway, if you want to chuck us a uh, comment, leave it down below. Contact us on Facebook, or Instagram if you have any questions, or if you just want anything else, uh, if you need support. Leave it on the um, support page and we'll see if we can get back to you.